this. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that we got our boys for Christmas this year. So if you are new here, we have two boys. Liam is about to turn five and Bryce is about to turn two. And I'm also 12 weeks pregnant with our third child. We don't know the gender yet, but I did want to first start this video off by saying that I personally feel like this is a lot. I feel like this is borderline excessive. I did not have Christmases like this as a child. I'm not used to this. However, Josh is <laughs> used to this. He always had really big Christmases growing up as a kid every year and they got a ton of gifts and so this is just what he's used to and it's kind of hard for me to stop him from doing this. So I just want you guys to know just from the get-go like I blame Josh for all of this. Also it kind of looks like Bryce has more gifts. Well some of some of Liam's are on this side too but like the majority of my five-year-old Liam's toys are over here it looks like Bryce has more because number one, he does technically have more actual items, individual gifts. And that's because Liam started out with more first. And then we went back to the store to kind of even it out. And then somehow Bryce ended up with more gifts. Also, Bryce's gifts are like bigger, like physically bigger, but they're more inexpensive. Whereas Liam's are like physically smaller, but his gifts are more expensive items. So it did pretty much even out. So I'm gonna start with Liam's gifts because they're, I, I'm gonna knock stuff over when I get back here to process stuff. So, and some of the stuff up here is like little stocking stuffers and stuff like that and I'll get to that. But, so Liam's big gift that he's getting this year is a Nintendo Switch Lite. We got it in gray. And we do have a Nintendo Switch, like the whole the big gaming system or whatever. We do have that, um, but we wanted to get this for him. He really loves his tablet and he really likes playing games and he's always asking to play like the Mario game on Josh's TV and he's referring to the Switch. He just doesn't realize it. Um, and so he's gonna be really, really excited about this. This is why I said his gifts are like more expensive. Bryce does not have a gift that is this much. We also got him a little screen protector to go with it. We also got, this is so cute, it's a little Super Mario like um, travel case for it. I'm really far away from the camera because of the bed situation so I'm trying my best to like get it where you guys can see this stuff. Um, and then also to kind of go along with it, we got him his own controller so that he can play on the big switch on the TV with Josh. And it is a Pikachu controller, if you guys can see, oh, if you guys can see that. Um, that's one of the things, two of the things he's into right now is Mario and Pokemon, specifically Pikachu. And then we got him, I guess, I guess three games is what we've gotten him so far. Well, we're not going to get him more for Christmas, but I'm sure he'll get more over time. So we got this little race with Ryan game. And then Lego Worlds. Just some games that we thought would be like five-year-old friendly. I don't know. He also likes Power Rangers. So we got him a little Power Rangers game as well. Okay, so we got him some pajama sets. We got him a Sonic the Hedgehog. We got him Mario Kart. And we got him Pikachu. Pokemon Pikachu. Also, some of the games like we already have, like we have Mario Kart and Super Mario Brothers and stuff like that. We already have those games for our Switch, so that's why we didn't buy those for him for Christmas. We also got him this um, Super Mario Underground Diorama set, which is, look at this. If you guys have played Mario, you know. This is so cute. Come on. I really like the Mario stuff, so I'm really glad that he's into it. What else did we get that's Mario? We got him some little Mario Kart cars. I'm trying to angle this where the lighting isn't blinding you guys and you can see what I'm showing you. Um, this is probably gonna be a stocking stuffer. We found this at Ross, I think. And it's got a little Mario little um, toy figure and it's also got candy in it. So we figured it would make a good stocking stuffer. This is a, definitely gonna be a stocking stuffer. I love this, it's Goomba, little Goomba. How cute. This is probably another stocking stuffer. This is Donkey Kong, little Mario Kart Donkey Kong guy. 
This one is light blue Yoshi and the little, I don't know, egg looking thing. I don't know all the Mario things. Okay, guys, don't judge me. That's a stocking stuffer. We got this at five below for $5. And then we also got, which one is this? Fire Mario. And then the fire flower. We also got him a couple of Power Ranger items. He's into Power Rangers. So we got him this Beast X King Morpher, something that he wears on his wrist. I'm not sure. You guys might know if you have kids that are into this. We got him this from Walmart and we also got him a um, Power Ranger, the blue Power Ranger. And he's got other colors coming from like Josh's mom and things like that. So that's why I didn't get everyone. And then we got him this little Minecraft set because Minecraft. So it's Mario, Pokemon, Power Rangers, Minecraft. He's into those things. And then Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog he is into. That's the gist of like what he's into if you haven't caught on yet. I think this is the first Minecraft thing I've shown you guys though. It might be the only, I don't know. Anyways, this is what it looks like, just these little guys. And I think he might have some more Minecraft stuff coming from um, like grandparents and stuff as well. We did get him this little blippy toy because I'm really, really mad that when he, the year that he was so into blippy, they didn't have blippy toys and now you can find them everywhere. So we got him blippy. Just, just because it makes me so mad that now you can just find blippy stuff everywhere. Okay, so the only thing that we have left for Liam is the Pokemon toys. And I actually didn't realize how into Pokemon he was until we started asking him what he wanted for Christmas. And he specifically said he wanted a Pikachu. He said he wanted a Pikachu that could like, like do things like walk and stuff like that. And I mean, there weren't a whole lot of Pikachus that weren't like just a plush, you know, little toy. This one says it's ears and arms move, it, the cheeks and the tail light up and he speaks. So this is the best we could do. But we did find this um, at Walmart. It's called My Partner Pikachu. So I was really excited that I was able to find him one because I thought all we were gonna be able to find was like a plush one. And that's not, I mean, that's technically not what he asked for. So got him a Pikachu and he also asked for a Pokeball. And um, at first when we were trying to be ahead of schedule and find stuff early, I couldn't find one anywhere. Um, but then they were everywhere. So the first one that I actually found him was at Walmart and it was this one um, with Pikachu in it. This was the first one I found and I thought that was all we were gonna get, okay? Um, it was not because I made the mistake of taking Josh into Ross. Well, he took me to Ross, but anyways, he found this one that has, oh no, I don't know how to pronounce it. Josh would be able to do all of this if he was here. I don't know, but if you know Pokemon, then you'll know who this is. The reason we grabbed this is because it's normally something that's $12 and it was $3.99. So he got another Pokeball with this, this guy in it, in here. And actually there's another one. <laughs> this one came from Walmart. Okay, so before we found the $3.99 one, we did find this one at Walmart as well. And he wanted to get it because the Pokeball is different. It's not just the red and white one. And it has the, the dog. I don't, I don't know the dog in there. Let's see, but it's a different color Pokeball. Um, then while we were at Ross, we found this and it's the whole clip and carry Pokeball belt. And it did come with two more Pokeballs. And so now he's got, I wish we'd found this first because this has a Pokeball with Pikachu in it though. The Pikachu in this one does look better. This one, this one looks a little rough, but it's the whole belt. Um, so he's going to be really excited about that because it's clip and go. So all of these Pokeballs can clip onto the belt, if that makes any sense. I think that that is everything for Liam that we got Liam. If I forgot anything, then I'll, I'll figure it out in the video. I'm sure. And if that seems like a lot, you're going to be really tired of hearing me talk after you see all of Bryce's gifts. So I'm going to pull these big ones so that way out of the back. So I don't have to worry about them like falling later. I don't, I don't know. Huh. Okay. So this is one of Bryce's like big gifts and see the difference in the price. Okay. This is like 40 bucks. So the difference in the price on his big gifts versus Liam's. So you can see, um, we got him this mega blocks table. It has mega blocks in there. And one thing that I like, I don't know if you can see it on the box where you can store the blocks in the box, in the, in the table. I get dog. This is heavy. I need to put this down. So that was one of his like larger gifts. And then, goodness, 
Um, Josh didn't think that it was enough blocks, so um, we got him some more uh, mega blocks. And then um, we also got him, I think this has two in it. It's two of the magnetic drawing boards. Thought he would really like that. I'll stick that on the ground. There's another big gift that's not even up here. It's over there. I'm looking at it. I'm gonna have to show it to you guys very, very last. Here's another, um, goodness you guys. Ooh, okay. Here's another big one. We just got this last um, at Walmart. I think it was like $20. It's a big car carrier and it's um, Little Tykes. I think it has two cars in there. So, got him that. Okay, I wanna show this to you guys because I don't wanna wait till the end because I'm really, really excited. So if you have a kid that watches Coco Melon, then you know what's been going on with the Coco Melon toys. You know that people have been buying them out everywhere and then selling them for like $50 when they know, like it's because they know it's a popular cartoon for babies and like parents are gonna try to get their hands on the toys. We weren't gonna do that, we weren't. But we were at Ross and we, I barely saw it. It was just like kind of sitting laying like not even sitting up on an end cap and I just happened to see it out of the corner of my eye and I was like <gasps> so I'm not being dramatic I promise if you have kids Bryce's age then you understand but this was $7.99 and it has it has two JJ's in it and then it has um who else does it have in there Tom Tom and Yo-Yo yes so super Super excited. I feel like the best mom in the world because I found him a Coco Melon toy that wasn't an arm and a leg. So Josh picked up this, um, the child, Baby Yoda. I don't think it does anything, to be honest with you guys. Josh wanted to dress him up as Baby Yoda for Halloween. And ever since then, he's like been obsessed with it. And it's cute. It's cute. I'll give him that. Um, so he, he now has a Baby Yoda, we'll see if he plays with that. I grabbed this, this was early on when I was just trying to grab things here and there um, just to make sure that we got them enough toys, which I don't know what I was worried about. Um, but he doesn't have a whole lot of bath toys. And so I just got him this um, and I like, it's got boats and stuff like that in it. And I like that it's not any of the like squeezy toys. I think maybe there's like two in here, but I like the boats and stuff. And as you can see right here in the picture, it has the little net. So I could actually stick the toys down in the net and they can kind of like dry out and stuff. You're going to notice a lot of vehicles because Bryce is constantly playing with Liam's, all his little toy cars and toy trucks. He's at this age where he still kind of plays with some baby toys, but he's also kind of playing with toys that like Liam has in his room too. So there's like a combination of like ba baby toys and like little boy toys in here. So we got him a whole little set of Hot Wheels cars, of course. Can't go wrong with those. We also got him these. These are so cute. It's a Monster Jam Fire and Ice. It's got five Monster Jam different kind of trucks and stuff in it. I don't know if you can see on the back what's in there. We got him those. What else did we get in those vehicles? We got him a, it's basically a grave digger, you know. Got him one of those. Um, Josh picked this out. Um, it's a big time muscle car. Let's see. 1977 Pontiac Firebird. Got him that. He decided he was going to get him like a fancy car, I guess. I'm just going to try to find his all the little vehicles that we got for him. Um, we just got him this little thing of utility trucks as well. I think this was only like $5 at Walmart. This was when we were in our mode of like, okay, let's try to get more toys for Bryce so he'll have the same amount as Liam and then we got too many. So... We also got him this Hot Wheels racer pullback truck. Oh, here's another thing. So this is like a baby toy kind of. Um, the little people work together dump truck. Got him that one. And then we also got him a little cat kind of dump truck construction vehicle, whatever it is. That might be all the like vehicles that we got him. I'm really excited about some of the like little Fisher Price stuff. I guess I still want him to be like a baby and play with baby toys. This is like a Polaroid camera. Look, watch. Oh, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I should have showed you guys this first. I literally, it's Perfect. got the- I love it. It's got the little, the little strap over here too and everything. Oh my gosh. 
I'm obsessed with this. If he doesn't play with this, I'm going to be mad. So another toy that is kind of like a more babyish toy is this little Yum 2 3 toaster that we got. I thought this was so cute. Look. I just, I love, love stuff like wake this. Up, wake up, wake oh. up. I just love toys that are like real things, but a toy version, like the toaster and the camera, I don't know. And then Josh picked this up. This says, it's a little people, you guys have seen one of these things before. Um, it says ages one and a half to five. So hopefully this is something he will play with. Where's the little thing? Rooster. <laughs> I got this one mainly because I feel like it's educational. This right here is really random. This was, again, when we were trying to catch up on making him have as many toys as Liam has. And it does look like such a baby toy, okay? It does. But anytime either one of my kids are in a waiting room at a doctor's office, the little things that have this on them, even Liam plays with. So I'm like, he will play with this. Like he'll play with this, I don't know. He'll. What else do we have? Josh picked this out. I'm not a huge Mickey Mouse person but he didn't actually pick it out. Bryce was playing with this while we were at Kohl's and he seemed to really like it because he likes the singing. So that's why we got him this. We're almost done guys, we're almost done. Um, we grabbed him these because he loves playing with balls. This was $5 at Five Below. Mm -hmm. Little basketball, soccer ball and football. Also got him another bath toy. This was actually only $4.99 at Ross and it is like the Green Toys brand and it's a little tugboat super cute and it says that you can like scoop and pour the water i don't know if you can see the little like spout looking so cute so we got on that and i think i think i showed you guys everything except for just these few things right here that will be stocking stuffers so this is a little hot wheels car and it's got a hamburger and french fries on it so i told josh that's the hot wheels car he should get because it's super cute he got him a little little people guy his name is eddie and so he does have a little peep. This right here was little people, if you guys remember. And so he could actually go in the truck. So I thought that was cute. We also got him a Mega Blocks fire truck. And also just this little Ford truck here. Lots of vehicles, just stuff to stick in his stocking. This he actually played with in the store, but I found it and I thought he would like it and he did. He loved it. He was just playing with it in the shopping cart and he doesn't know that he got it. But it's a stocking stuffer. It's an animal microphone. It counts and does the ABCs. One, two, three. And it's like a little microphone. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I didn't know it did that. I literally didn't know at first. He was just playing with the numbers and stuff. And then I spoke into it and I was like I tried to get him to do it and he just kind of tried to lick it and eat it um so we'll see how that goes but that's everything except for let me get up let me get up out of his bed and show you guys his other like big gift you're probably thinking he already has like multiple things that seem large this is really like his big gift this was the original plan for his big gift I'm just going to sit it up here without me. Um, we got him this uh, Radio Flyer little tricycle. And it has, look at this. Oh, he could put his little stuff in there. So cute. Um, we got Liam a bike last year and just put like a big red bow on it. And I wanted to do that for Bryce this year. So he got him a little tricycle. All right. So that is everything that we got the boys for Christmas. If you're a super last minute shopper, then I hope this gave you some ideas. You'd have to be super late though. Cause I'm late at getting this up. I wanted to get it up sooner, but we were kind of late at shopping as well. <laughs> I did want to mention that we do plan on going through the boys toys and donating toys, giving toys away and things like that, because they do have a ton in the room that neither one of them play with. And I'm probably going to transfer some of the toys from Liam's room to Bryce's room. Basically all the ones that Liam doesn't play with anymore and Bryce is showing interest in. And then the baby toys we always save. So we were able to use a lot of Liam's baby's toys. Baby, what? A lot of Liam's baby toys Bryce now has in his room and he plays with or played with when he was a baby. And I'm really glad that I saved them. So that's what I'm gonna do with things, you know, like this after Bryce is done playing with them for the next baby because of course they're gender neutral and 
So we're always going to save the baby toys. Like the older they get, we kind of don't do that as much. But we are definitely going to do that because I don't want to just add all these toys into what they already have. Anyways, I try to go through this really fast and I was talking really fast because my camera likes to overheat on me and I have to start it over and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.